A validation workshop of a draft bill for the establishment of the College of Physicians and Surgeons of the Gambia was conducted on Thursday at a local hotel in Senegambia, giving the welcoming remarks on behalf of the Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Health. Madam Fantabai Seke says the Gambia would be proud to validate such an important bill. I am honored to represent the Permanent Secretary Minister of Health to give the welcome remarks in this very important meeting. I've been seated at the back of the hall, keenly listening to the deliberations that have been taking place. And I'm certain that the outcome document will be a rich document. The experts around this table have done very good work. And I'm certain by the end of the day, the Gambia will be proud to have validated a very important bill that will strengthen the health sector and also strengthening our health service deliveries. The Rector of Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, Professor Adanu, says it is important to note that the college must be able to meet the needs of the Gambia and the subregion. And as we discuss this um, bill and think of setting up the postgraduate, the, the College of Physicians and Surgeons of the Gambia, it's important for us to note that this college must meet the needs of the Gambia first and foremost, and then also meet the needs of the, of the sub-region, and then we think about um, globally. When we look at examples of um, colleges from other parts of the, the world, which, are, which have been doing this for longer than we have, we think of colleges like the Royal Colleges of the UK and the American Colleges, which are essentially independent colleges, not run by, by government, but however, the job of training and certification of postgraduate medical specialists has been ceded to them by government. This is the kind of place that um, all of us in the sub-region would like to get to. But the realities that we are faced with is that we do not have the, the economic strength to be able to be standalone colleges independent with all responsibilities ceded by the government. We definitely need some support from our government to be able to get postgraduate training going. The Secretary General of the West African College of Surgeons, Prof. Phillips, says the Gambia will have the support of the West African College of Surgeons. We believe we are an umbrella that accommodates all colleges. There are many models of colleges in the world and in the region, and I think the Gambia should determine and set their pace, and they will get the support of the West African College of Surgeons to achieve what they really have for the Gambian people. The acts or the bill we have been discussing here in detail with frankness, the desire is that it's going to transit to an act and the act will transit to a college. Above all, the West African College of Surgeons hopes that this college will train locally but still maintain international standards. The WHO representative, Dr. Desta, describes the validation as very important in the history of the Gambia. We are also impressed by the pace, how the conceptualization and realization of the College of uh, Physicians and Surgeons of the Gambia is happening. This is one of the success of uh, Honorable Minister. He had a very strong conviction to improve the health sector and uh, your team. And uh, this is, I think, one of the big deliveries that uh, the Honorable Minister is making towards uh, strengthening the health systems in the Gambia. So congratulations for that. Uh, as you can imagine, as is true for most African countries so, and globally also, uh, particularly African continent, Gambia has shortage of healthcare uh, professionals. And this has been even more felt during the COVID-19 pandemic um, most countries in Africa are now in long-term health workforce uh, shortage crisis. The Minister of Health, Dr. Ahmad Lamin Samate, also describes the validation workshop of the draft bill for the establishment of the College of Physicians and Surgeons of the Gambia as very important to the health sector. Unfortunately, we are starting now, but I think we are starting well. because We have the unique opportunity to learn from all of us. And uh, having these experts also, 
who formed the, these colleges in their own countries, who have been working with these colleges, who have seen the successes of the colleges, and who have equally seen the challenges and the mistakes that have been made, coming together, pulling all those together to come and tell you, we went that way, and these were the challenges. We went this way, and these are the benefits. I think it's a unique opportunity that we should capitalize on. Policy development, legislative framework development, there are various factors that uh, uh, play roles in it. The ideas, certainly the ideas have to come from the people. What is written down is man-made. Whatever point is put in there is put in by people. So a world of ideas we have here, and uh, we are sure that we'll get the best out of them. The establishment of the College of Physicians and Surgeons of the Gambia will be a step to improve the health sector in the Gambia. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Buba Gajigo.